Let's see this question. Well, given the equation, a raised by three plus a squared equals to 80. To solve for a, normally, probably we could do is, we think 80 is a special number because we have a cube, we have a square, we're thinking 80 can be split into 64 plus 16 because 64 is a four cube and 16 is a four square. Yeah, when we move the 80 to the other side, it becomes a negative. So then we have a cube, we rewrite the equation as a cube minus four cube plus a squared minus four squared then equals zero. So we see from this one, from this two, difference of two cubes, we get a factor of a minus four, right, multiplied by another factor. And from this difference of two squares, we also get a minus four and another factor. So a minus four becomes a common factor of those two. Then we can put in the vector to form. Actually, let me just write it. That's a squared plus 4a plus 16. Okay. So factor out a minus four, we have a squared plus 4a plus four squared, which is 16. Then plus this one, plus a plus four. So two factors. So this factor, this factor. By zero property, this factor can be zero. That gives us a equals to four. And then let's check to see if this possibly be zero. So we have a squared plus five a plus 20. Can this be zero? No, right? Because we're looking, we're limited ourselves with real numbers. We don't want to get involved with uh, complex numbers for this question. If we use a quadratic formula, we solve for a, we will get a negative five plus minus the square root of five square minus four times one times 20. You see here, we we'll get a negative. So negative five divided by two plus minus 25 minus, minus 80, which is less than zero main. So, that Vatican will be a negative number. So we should bring us to a complex world. But for now, let's keep in the real world. So we have one solution, A equals to four, right? A equals to four, of course, A cubed equals to 64. So this is a normal way, but today actually I wanna show another way to use a pattern of mathematics because you know, studying mathematics basically is studying the pattern and use the pattern to predict something. So let's use that to predict. So is this, because we have the intuition of 80, 80 can be split into 64 and a 14 and a 16, then we can work with the cube and the square. So we, you know, basically, basically we already know the answer is four. But what do we do is we work with 80 because this side we have a cubed plus a squared. Well, if we simplify this, simplify the left hand side, we, we can factor out a squared, right? A squared times a plus one. So can we write 80 as something squared times something plus one? Yes, right? Because the first 80 is a 16 multiplied by five. 5 times 6, 30, 10 times 5, 50, 50 plus 30, 80, right? Then, of course, 16 is 4 squared. And the 5 is 4 plus 1. So we can show this way. A squared, A plus 1. Now you see the pattern, the left-hand side and the right-hand side matches, right? So which is saying A squared equals 4 squared, A equals to 4. Anyway, so in the end, a cube equals to 64, a equals to 4.